Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and this marks the beginning of the X-Strike line. Or at least that's what I'm gonna go ahead and call it, because I'm a huge nerd. Somebody mentioned it in the uh, comments, and uh, then somebody actually made me the logo, uh, and I absolutely loved it. I just hadn't made any personal blasters since he made it for me. Um, so I had to wait, and I finally made these, and decided it was the perfect time to go ahead and make the stencil and start putting it on all of my war blasters, as opposed to my HVZ blasters. Blasters that I built intended for HVZ, I will continue to put the Zombie Strike logo on, but ones that I've built uh, specifically for war, I will put my X-Strike logo on. Which is, of course, just a modified version of the Zombie Strike logo. It's got an X instead of a Z, uh, and it's a little bit more symmetrical, the po it has different uh, points as opposed to the way the Zombie Strike one is a little bit more asymmetrical, meant to look, you know, like you were in a zombie apocalypse, whereas this one's meant to look uh, like I had the time to do it uh, symmetrically. The blasters are a pair of pink crushes, of course, that I have painted up in my colors. Um, they have the standard uh, internal modifications, K26, brass barrels, AR removal, heavier catch springs. Uh, and they are intended to go on my new war loadout. I finally got the the final pieces of that. I oh, When I showed it off, I only had two of the magazine pouches, but I now have all four. And the ones that are closest to the center are for 18-round magazines, and the next two that are slightly further out are either for 12-round magazines or for these, depending on what loadout I'm running at that time. I discovered something really cool about the positioning of those magazines in that I can, in fact... Um, load a strife one-handed um, with the way that they are configured because I can actually just use the strife and bring it right down on the top of the magazine and then pull them out uh, loaded so I can have my shield on me and still be able to change out magazines because I can one hand drop a magazine and now I can one hand reload a magazine uh, which is I think really really cool uh, and I wouldn't need these when I have my shield because I don't have hands free to pull pistols anyway so um, if I'm going with the shield loadout, I won't have these, and I'll have extra magazines that I can load into the strife. If I'm running without the shield, then I will probably load these, just so I have, you know, more pistols to draw, and, and that sort of thing. So, um, the war got postponed, for those of you who weren't aware. We were planning to have a war, uh, last Saturday, but it got rained out, as is the want of the Pacific Northwest. Where we've rescheduled it for this upcoming Saturday... Hopefully uh, it will work out this time and I will be able to show off my loadout. I'm actually kind of glad it got postponed because I didn't have these, wouldn't have had these built in time and I wouldn't have had all of my magazine pouches, so it kind of worked out well for me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing this logo on all sorts of stuff going forward. I'm going to put it on all of my magazines, whether they're Zombie Strike magazines or not, uh, just to make it easy to identify my magazine. I previously just had a little X on the bottom, but that's easy to overlook, whereas a big spray-painted X on the side makes it a little bit less likely that my magazines will wander off. Same with my blasters, though, you know, people could repaint things. But, uh, yeah, I've only had one blaster wander off so far, and that was a 4 Victory that went missing at Fort Warden. Still haven't ever found it. I don't know if uh, it went home with another nerfer, or if it went home with a passerby, since we were in a public park. But uh, if you happen to know what happened to my Fort Victory, kindly let me know. I'd love to get it back. Because um, I, I did find a replacement, but I'd love to have a pair of them, just because they're lovely. Um, because they're a hammer-primed blaster that holds four rounds and isn't a revolver. So, And they shoot beautifully. Anyway. Enough blathering out of me, this is the beginning of the X-Strike line. Whoever it was who made me this logo, do please make yourself known so that I can give you uh, appropriate credit because I don't remember who you are and I feel bad about it. So, there you have it. Uh, you will get to see these fired at the Fort Warden War. I uh, should have my battle cam going so you'll get to see them uh, in action. Uh, yeah, and that'll be fun. So, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and put them in the comments below, and as always, thank you for watching. Oh,